Hello good people! We have another exciting tutorial for you guys today, as always, and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to boot OS X Mavericks from a USB drive. This is going to be a pretty easy tutorial. All you guys are going to need is at least a 8GB flash drive and the installer for OS X Mavericks, the developer preview. Now the way you get the developer preview installer is by having a developer account with Apple, but I'm not going to try and act like the internet doesn't exist, and I'm not saying that I promote piracy, but if you were to check the description of this video, you might find some things that could help you along with the installation process. Now, if you have an 8GB flash drive at the ready in hand, then this first step right here isn't going to apply to you, but let's say you have an external hard drive like I do with tons of amount of space. You can actually partition that and use that to boot Mountain Lion. So to do that, you're just going to, want to open up Disk Utility. You want to select the main heading of your external hard drive. Click on the partition tab, and then you just want to click the plus sign. That's going to add a second one. Um, it needs to be at least 8 gigs, so let's just make this 34. So from there, you're just going to click apply. It's going to tell you that it's going to partition, so you're going to do that. So once that's done partitioning, you can go ahead and minimize disk utility. We are going to be coming back to it later, but we don't need it right now. The next step is to open up terminal and you just want to paste this line of code which you can copy directly from the description below and this is just going to uh, unhide some hidden files on our Mac um, you know bash scripts things that have to do with the Unix side of Mac OS files revealed yeah stuff like that so as you can see we have four new files on our desktop we can exit out of terminal because we don't need it anymore uh, we're gonna find where our installer is we're gonna right click show package contents go into the contents folder go into shared support and click on install ESD. So that's going to mount the drive and then now from here we want to go back into disk utility and we want to drag this base system.dmg into this little sidebar here. We're going to click on it. We're going to go to this restore tab. The source is going to be base system.dmg but the destination is going to be that 8 gb flash drive or that newly partitioned drive and you can just drag that into the spot right there. Click on Restore, click on Erase, type in your master password, and then it should copy all that information onto this drive. So once that's finished restoring, you can go ahead and exit out Disk Utility. We don't need it anymore. And the only two windows that we're going to need is the window that's the OS X base system, which is going to be the renamed version of your 8GB flash drive or partitioned external drive, and the mounted OS X install ESD. What you want to do is you want to go into the OS X base system one, go to the system folder, go into installation, and then you want to delete this packages alias, and then you want to drag the packages folder from the mounted DMG onto the base system. Okay, so once that finishes copying, you can exit out of all these windows. We don't need any of them anymore. And the tutorial for the most part is done. If you wanted, you can go ahead and use that OS X base system and boot into Mavericks from it. Um, but we still have these hidden files on our Mac and they're shown and they should probably stay hidden. So I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and hide them. Just want to go back into terminal and paste that same line of code, which you can again copy from the description. And then you just want to change the word true to the word false. And now all the files are hidden. So that's the official end of the tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you want a little more me in your life, feel free to follow me on Twitter at Fisher12. There'll be a link down in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and take care.